puppets. They just, it, it brings you back to that child in you, I think. The beginning's really rough and, and frustrating because it, you think nothing's going to come out of this. I have a preconceived idea of who I'm carving. It's just a wonderful feeling to uh, to see that face come out, or to see that to do an arm, right? Uh, or to do hands. Hands are wonderful. You know, at first they're very tough to do, but now I can, you know, I can do a couple hands in a day, and it's just it's a wonderful feeling. Once I get to the point of a nose, I always work on the nose because I think noses are very important. Once I've got that nose, then I have it. Then I know I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Basswood, it's clear and soft. And it's, it's quite a lovely wood to, to carve. And there's basswood here in Nova Scotia. One wrong cutting, you change that facial expression. Usually leave the eyes for the very last. So once I have those carved and polished and sanded, then I know. It's done. I went to Arts Place residency. Like, that was clutter-free. It was white and, and beautiful. It was like, it was so nice. I'm not a puppeteer. I build stuff. And part of it's a way of connecting to, to people. I can make things. I, I, I feel like I, I have that essence as an artist. Obviously I'm old now and older and I have a little more wisdom and a little more thought. You have to be persistent. You have to just continue. But when I do a painting, make a puppet, I, I don't want to sound like a Hallmark card, but it, it's all about love. If you do something with love, it'll work.